Yeah. <laughs> this is our fifth killer killing. You know, it's a headshot at this point. First of all, hello. Second of all, it's a moment that a lot of us have been waiting for. Finally, we made it to Scream 3. Now I know a lot of people wanted me to just go ahead and bop, 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 Scream 1, 2, 3, 4. But after finding out that the fifth movie does not come out until January, I did not want to just blow through them all and then have to wait two months with nothing to sustain me. Also, I know that a lot of people aren't really watching Scream with us. So, you know, pepper some other stuff in there. Go on ahead and savor that delayed gratification. One Scream a month was basically my decision. So we're coming to the end of November and it is definitely time to get back on the Scream train. So we're on to Scream 3. What I know about this one is that it's gonna be great. I already know, I've already decided because <laughs> Once you're invested and you already love it, it can't be bad. Even if it's bad, it could still be good. You know what I mean, y'all. It came out in 2000, also directed by Wes Craven. And I'm not sure if Kevin Williamson is involved in this one. I can't remember what y'all said. I think there's one where maybe he's not involved or he didn't write as much or I don't know, but we'll find out as we do. All I know is that Nev is back. I know that Dewey survived. So David Arquette should be here and I know the Gale survived. So Courtney Cox should be here. Everything else is irrelevant. The rest of the pieces will come together pleasingly, I'm sure. So here we go, y'all. My caffeine slash, I put a little vodka in here. When we think about it, I'm risking my oh. reputation to do a cameo in some cheap slasher flick. This is how you live in now, boo. <laughs> Capitalizing on your misfortune Hello? and that of others. Who's this? Who's this? I love that guy on TV, um, Cotton Weary. I do. Right? They know you by voice, boo. Is this the killer? They have a new voice change box. <laughs> Can you hold on one second? I'll be right back, I promise. You promised? You're gonna talk to this lady? I gotta call you back. Someone's on the other line. Why don't you tell me who you are? You're a naughty boy. Now what would your girlfriend say? What makes you think I have a girlfriend? I know you do. I'm right outside her bathroom door. Who is this? She's in the shower. Oh my god. She's got a nice little so the killer does have like one of those multiple switch voice boxes. He has an app. From Maureen Prescott. Where's Maureen's daughter, Sydney? Oh. My girl will never be free. You listen to me, you fucking psycho. You lay a finger on Christine and I swear to God I'll kill you. Wrong answer. Oh my god, it's the mom from Gossip Girl. Gonna die in a car crash trying to get there. Oh, Lily, you can't sense a stranger in your house. You leave your wet towel on your bedroom floor like that. Ah, cut the phone line. Doesn't she have a cell phone? He has two. Oh, wasting her time with this negligee. Cotton, is that you? Okay, Cotton. You know I don't like your stab games. Oh, he does this on the regular. Very silly of him. Dumb choice. Dumb choice for his life. Christine? I'm home. Jesus, you scared the shit out of me. No, his app could be doing that. <laughs> oh, the floor is all wet because you didn't dry off properly. Why are you waiting in the doorway? No, no, no. The game? You mean my life? What are you talking about? Talking about how much fun it's gonna be to rip your insides out. You discussed it for a long time, girl, when you should have been finding a way out. He gonna end up with blood all over that white leisure suit. Just like Jackie. Road rage in Los Angeles. Innocent commuters, madmen of the free world. Okay? Bring some of these guys in here. The fact that the TV show is called 100% Cotton. <laughs> Dude, cut the TV off. Don't you want to know if something's sneaking up behind you? I'd be like, I need all of my senses at 10. Oof. Five stab wounds to the door. Stay back. Oh, she doesn't know what to believe. Fair enough, girl. Well, somebody says stay back. Stay the fuck back. Oh. Oh. 
fair enough, girl, but then you dropped the weapon? Ugh. I hate that. She had fight. She just didn't know who she was fighting. Is Kat gonna go out in the first scene? Oh, God! It was a simple game, Cotton. You should have told me where Sydney was. You lose. Oh! This killer is nimble and quick. <laughs> Glory be to Nev! Girl, is that the dog they should be aware of? Golden Retriever is real sweet. Should have got something bigger, scarier. I love your ranch house though. Go ahead, security system. <laughs> Go ahead, multiple locks. She works across this hotline. Oh, giving back to the world, doing good for people. We stand a real one. Thank you. She said, y'all don't know my name or nothing. I'm living off the grid. <laughs> Kill him, girl. So, in closing, as the future journalist of America, there is one thing. Ah, uh -uh, girl. What? Did they do it like this? Be willing to have the world hate you because that is the only way that you get the story and the fame. All that fame couldn't get you a real hairstylist, girl. You're saying that we should be ready to go out and cut each other's throats because that's what you did. I literally thought he was gonna say cut each other's bangs to look like shit. <laughs> I mean, what is this payback for? Oh, Patrick Dempsey. I'm here because Cotton and I has been murdered. Someone killed Cotton. And his girlfriend. Someone who left something he wanted us to see. Oh my god. Stormy Prescott. Oh, she looked different than the other pictures. News of the murder of controversial talk show host Cotton Perry, where he had only recently finished shooting a cameo as himself in the film staff three. Not again. Honey, the film crew is the least of our worries. Can somebody protect Nav? Oh my god! Scott Foley? There's no reason to presume that Cotton's death had anything to do with this movie, is there? He was making a movie called Stab. He was Stab. One plus one equals two! Sister, sister, sister. Dion, I'm Richmond. Not a Randy substitute. I'm my own character. Named Ricky, who works at the video store. <laughs> what if the killer's Sydney Prescott? I mean, what the hell ever happened to her? She's probably off in the woods living like the fucking Unabomber, man. <laughs> yes, I am. Now leave me alone. 50,000 girls in a big you. you got to be praying this movie keeps going. Of course I am, but not at the expense of people's lives. Oh. Mm -hmm. She actually cares. She is a good Sydney. These bangs will haunt me till the day I die. I am so mad. It looks like they put you through a wood chipper, girl. Gail Weathers. Oh, Parker Posey. Oh. Gail Weathers. You're such a complex character. Could be played by an actress with such depth and range. Uh, Jennifer, Nick said you wanted to. Have y'all seen each other? Do we? Someone's helped me understand the real you. Oh my God. Your private self-loathing. Lost in love with what? Lost they got the highlights down to a T. Little girl inside. Just to be Woodsboro. What happened between them? Sydney doesn't need you and your camera in her life. Oh, do you see a camera? <laughs> Bitch, I did not just meet oh, you. <laughs> Is that Jay and She's Silent Bob? It's a TV news shit, Connie fucking Chung. Connie Chung would never. <laughs> None of this would have ever happen if she hadn't. Girl, she did not deserve what she got. Listen, maybe it's time you came home. How? I can't place. be so easily found, Father. It's as if you don't exist. That's what's keeping me safe. That's the idea. Okay, I put myself in with that. She has the perfect intuition. What is this night of the living dead madness? It's a ghost of your mother? Bitch, how dare you haunt me? Oh, girl, everything I've been through because of your bad choices. I mean, it wasn't your fault that you died, but come on. A haunting? Touch it dies. Oh. Just like you. Yeah. Is that real? Is that real? Is that real? Roman? Ronan? Oh, 
Why would the whole office be different? Jordan. Damn, my man. He does good work, huh? Everyone in the office is going home already. That was important. Everything's important to Roman. Well, girl, don't keep knocking around. Get out of there. You better keep that handy. You might need it to fight for your fucking life since you insist on staying. Sarah, it's Roman. I'm about 10 minutes away. Well, that's no problem. So let's talk about your character, okay? Girl, scotch Sarah, tape? Sarah. Chick who gets killed Why don't you just spit on it and try to hold it together? So let's, let's run the lunch. Fine. Is this the real director? Or is this voice change app? How the fuck are we supposed to learn our lines when there's a new script every 15 minutes? It's not just a new script, it's a new movie. And it's called Sarah Gets Skewered Like a Fucking Pig. Ugh! Graphic. I don't know about running deeper into the office. Damn. Fucking costume glasses! Oh my god! I, robot, but with ghost face masks. Which one of you is the killer? Oh god! I cannot be dealt from the Legion of Masks. Girl. <laughs> oh. Oh. Why kill them? I only got thought this was about Sydney. What about you? What about me? You said you'd never leave Woodsboro. But now you're here. Not with me. Mm -hmm. LA forever? I couldn't say no. I could have been the next dying soul. Wait, what's wrong with just being Gil Weathers? Lighter. Hmm. We tried. We're different. You used to say that was our strength. You wouldn't have got those bangs if you had stayed with Dewey. All of this is actually not about you. You do know something, don't you? The Woodsboro police got a call from a woman who said she was with Stab 3. She wanted to see the file on Sid. A month later, the file room gets ransacked. Someone stole Sid's file? I already removed it. I think it's someone creepy. on film. That's not Dewey. He's trying to find Sid. Someone's gonna pay for this! Jennifer, She's giving Jesse and the Pussycats right now. There's about a second murder. Sarah, darling. Where? At the studio. Where? Nancy Drew wants to know where. <laughs> where are you, Sarah, darling? Someone's killing them in the order they die in the movie. Oh. Do we, who gets killed third? You do. <laughs> I get killed Sarah, I get killed? They better not kill her for real in this one. She says I'm her rock. Her rock? If you weren't so concerned with pretensions and appearances, you'd be able to appreciate the positivity and emotional centeredness I provide. <laughs> Hey, do drop. I have a word. Do drop. I'm the professional celebrity guard here. You are the Hollywood the hanger on her. Because uh, you're just no good as a cop anymore. So, how about you take suggestions from me? I. I thought do drop was sweet. Turns out you're an a hole. Same deal. Found with the body. Yeah, Maureen Prescott. What about an increased police presence around Jennifer? She has a bodyguard. The producers told us that there are three one dude. versions of the script and about trying to keep the ending off the internet. <laughs> that was true of the second versions. one, right? Three different characters die next. Meta as they'll ever be. You didn't tell us you spoke with Sarah Darling before she was murdered. Roommate answered the phone and says it was you. Wait a minute. No, no. I, I never called her. I never told her to go anywhere. Roommate says she knows your voice, Mr. Pritchard. Okay, well, she the killer has a voice change app. Let's go around. Someone wants to kill my movie. Uh, Not but movie, boo. Right, this is the scene where you come with us. Battery. <laughs> Mr. Riley. Cell phone, I can borrow? California Women's Crisis Counseling. I killed someone, Laura. Uh, are you sure? Uh -huh. Then the people you need to call are the police. No, I need to call you. Is this call real? What's happening? Baby. That's your home line? It's mother, Laura. Oh, now be a good girl and turn on the news. Why is she getting a mommy haunting? The second cast member murdered. Stab 3 has been officially shut down. Do you think it's over, Sydney? How? Did you get this number? Oh, she stays ready. Oh. I guarantee there's one of those in every drawer in every room. I hate that she's been put through this, but I can't wait for her to get the newest motherfucker that's trying to take her down. Keep coming at me, I'm gonna keep knocking you down like fucking whack-a-mole. Is this a rap party or is this a rap party? Gail! <laughs> Crimpin' ain't it, girl. Uh, she's a narcissistic psycho bitch. She's got a good heart, she does. Oh. She just hides it away, just like her. Make it sound like you're still in love with her. Yeah. And I left out the part that she's cruel and obsessive and annoying. <laughs> you have one deal on weather shit, we don't need two. Well, bitch, I got awfully close. If I'd have been a snake, I'd have bit him. You're not very good at your job. Well, I found slinking around the yard. I wasn't slinking. I was stalking. <laughs> yeah, I bet him that you seemed awfully at home. 
Girl, you don't own me. I could have been mid straddle. It ain't your business. Did you know the release Roman? Stairs call didn't come from his cell. How old do you think your impress card is in this picture? 1920. That's what I thought. So I checked it out. I cannot find any information about her at this age. I mean, nothing. Strange. So, so why is the killer leaving pictures of, of Maureen? Look at the buildings. The second story, there and there. God, Marie Prescott was at the back line at Sunray Studios. Why? Well, come back inside and stay with Jennifer. Something's happened. Is that an order do drop? Cause uh, Stephen Stone doesn't You're stealing my change? Get back in the house, Stone. What are you doing in there anyway? Snooping hey, and stealing. I'm checking to make sure there's no killer in here waiting to off you like he did your little sister. What did you say? What the fuck is your that? problem? That makes me... <laughs> <laughs> oh! Angry! I wasn't even doing You have every voice on the app? Ooh. Go on. You shouldn't have been saying all that foul shit. Not that it would have saved your life. There's been another murder. <laughs> you walked all the way out here? You go with them. I cannot risk losing you. Don't panic. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately, like a panic. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> Parker Posey is a comedic fucking genius. <laughs> this bitch. Five stand trapped. He's rewriting the movie. Is the killer right to outside? Everybody outside! Outside where you think it's all about the killer. The killer How can he pick you up one by one? There's five of you. Herself. <laughs> oh, idiot, fine, let him go. Why wouldn't you take that piece of paper outside? Smells the gas? <gasps> oh my god. I don't see why you had to destroy Parker's whole beach house. And now we are scattered to the four winds. I assume there are two, as is protocol. How did he survive that? He took like six bullets. All of a sudden we're dealing with Michael Myers. Thanks for saving me. Oh, the theme music is so sweet. What? Who are you supposed to be protecting? Jennifer. <laughs> Angelina, how'd you end up way over there? Are we safe? Girl. So they think it's her. Whoever it is is now taking credit for Marine Prescott's murder. How does that make any Marine sense? Prescott. Sydney might know something. What does this have to do with Sid? Exactly. Knows more about Maureen Prescott than her own daughter. Well, Sid's um, dad almost anyone. He was married to Maureen. Exactly. <laughs> she had a lot of secrets. Do you want to have this conversation with Paula? Is that what? It's a threat. You'll know it. Dr. Shepard, you need to relax. I said I don't know, and you can't prove I do. Maybe you should do some detectiving and find it yourself. Is that her? I mean, you had peace for however long that was. I don't see why it was so crazy. It's not safe for you to be here. The killer called me. What? Yeah, he found me. I'm no more safe there than I am here, and at least. I don't see how I got your number. Yeah, I'd be like, I need to be with Gail and Dewey. Ugh. Oh the Alvin Simon Theodore we all need. <laughs> the white TLC, the reluctant Destiny's Child. My favorite threesome. The killer called. What? What do you say? Oh, you know, the usual small talk. Let's know how you've been, how you want to die. Do you have any idea how he could have gotten your number? Anyone else ever used your phone? Just Jennifer. And Detective Kincaid. I'm the cop here. I don't give a fuck. We don't trust anybody around here, okay? Why didn't you tell me? This is my mother, dude. Why didn't you say something? I was afraid they were bait. Something to, you know, trick Lord, you out. Know, yeah. so, was she an actress or a model? No, no. Barely knew that bitch. Detective. Turns out. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god! Mother Mother Don't shoot him. Let me see. How do you know each other? It's okay. 
We know her. Mm -hmm. Truman has his ex-girlfriend. I'll shoot myself. It's Martha Meeks, Randy's sister. Can't you tell? We miss you in Woodsboro, guys. Martha, what are you doing here? There's something you guys should see. Oh, my God. Well, if you're watching this tape, it means, as I feared, I did not survive these killings here in <laughs> the college. Giving up my virginity to Karen Kolchak at the video store was probably not a good idea. Karen Kolchak? Jamie. Kolchak. Creepy here? Shut up. She's a sweet person, okay? We're working late. <laughs> he anticipated your judgment to the second. Minutes. The reason I'm here is to help you so that my death will not be in vain. If you find yourself dealing with an unexpected backstory uh -huh. and a preponderance of exposition, uh -huh. then the sequel rules do not apply. Because uh -huh. you are not dealing with a sequel. You are dealing with the concluding chapter of a trilogy. That's right. Oh, we it's already a know there's a fourth. <laughs> You got a killer who's going to be superhuman. Stabbing him won't work. Shooting him won't work. Basically, in the third one, you got to cryogenically freeze his head. Oh, God. Him. So he is Michael Myers. Number two, anyone, including the main character, can die. This means you, Sid. I'm sorry. Number no, no, three, no, 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 no. the past will come back to bite you in the ass. The are the fourth and fifth one not about Nev Campbell? Any sins you think were committed in the past are about to break out and destroy you. Godspeed. And for some of you, I'll see you soon. Oh, in the afterlife. <laughs> um, we cannot lose one of the members of the trio. Hi, Stacy Merkin. I've got an idea. I'll hook up with you guys later. She wants to come with you? I work better alone. I can see nothing's changed. No. She had grown in the second Hello? movie, but she backslid. Even her hairstylist was like, fuck that bitch. Very upsetting. <laughs> Parker. Jeez. What the hell are you doing? Being a weather. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> now, starting now, I go where you go. That way, if someone wants to kill me, I'll be with you. And since they really want to kill you, they won't kill me. <laughs> Makes sense. None. You know, Makes perfect sense, actually. actually he was being much smarter. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I am Gail Weathers, and I'm here researching with the police. Her name is Maureen Prescott. Back then, it was probably Roberts. Hey, was that Carrie you Fisher? Know? I was that for Princess Leia. <laughs> okay. That's close. Did you work for the president? Fifty bucks. Who are you a reporter for Woodsboro High? Right. <laughs> Fifty dollars in LA. It's worth two grand. Are you gonna help Gail Weathers or not? <laughs> Lena Reynolds. Why a whole different name? Why everything Stage different? name. What are these movies? John Milton, the horror producer. <laughs> Those were his movies. Oh, honey. Trust your instincts. They are infallible, my love. Here we go. <laughs> Why do you have that mask? Oh my god. Sydney is still wearing her boyfriend's necklace. I just noticed. I wish it would have worked out. Why take the mask, girl? It's fucking weird. Unless, of course, you're a weirdo. Hey! Why is it so dark and creepy? It's fine. She can go to beauty supply later. Throw that hairbrush in the trash and get back to Dewey. Hello? She barely even has any hair to brush. Oh, your house. Oh, it looks exactly the same. Where's the garage door that Tatum hung out of? Oh, there it is. Bloody kitty door and all. Girl, I don't think you should stroke your trauma like this. Oh my gosh. I didn't get all the details. Where's your Indigo Girls poster? Oh. Call Dewey, where's your soul? <gasps> no, 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 no. Yes! <laughs> you gonna regret this, motherfucker. You haven't learned? Y'all don't even know Sydney, okay? Weebles wobble and they will fucking fall down. I will live, I will live, and you will die. Multiples. A frame by frame reproduction of your first escape. Woo! Yes! Yes! The innovation! Oh, I wish he didn't land on the mattress. Do it! <laughs> Babe, I'm narrowly escaping with my life yet again. No, 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 no. It's the voice change app. Don't follow it. Come on, give it a rest. <sighs> no, okay. Dewey. I'm sorry, I've seen it. He was in there, Dewey. He was in there, I swear, I swear. 
You sketchy little bitch. What is your role? I, I, I don't like it. I am not crazy. He was there in Woodsboro. That's not Woodsboro City. Bitch! You know what I mean, but he was there. We're gonna take you back to the station. You think I escaped four murderers? And I'm not smart enough to know what the deal is? Do we go with her? I trust none of these fools. You think it'll help me get work? you a bigger suspect <laughs> when they find it out how would you like to see it dug up on national tv okay these what bangs don't play it was in the 70s everything was different yeah. i was well known for my parties it was a free-for-all i knew what they were nothing happened to her that she didn't invite in one way or another oh please no matter what she said afterwards oh i'm saying things got out of hand you know maybe the sad truth is this is not the city for innocence this motherfucker better get killed I'm next sure you want to get ahead in hollywood you're gonna play the game Please, killer. This is your cue. I got a body that would love a stabbing. What do you know about trilogies? You seem to like movies, detective. Call me Mark. Would you miss? I want to keep calling you, Sydney. I'll call you Mark when you catch the killer, detective. <laughs> well, all I know about movie trilogies is that in the third one, all bets are off. Is it him? Did you request this case? No, they tend to put me on the ones that pay with the business. Do you see what I see day in and day out? Do you get haunted? Think you know about that? What do you know about my haunting? What do you mean? I know what it's like to see ghosts that don't go away. Be watching a scary movie in your head. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Did you know about your mother? I always thought I had the perfect mom. Perfect family. Mm -hmm. She had a secret life and I tried to understand that. And she had a lot of trauma, apparently. As soon as I thought that I had more secrets. You know who she was to you. Yeah. If all your memories of her are good, that means a lot. What's your favorite scary movie? Are you um flirting with my girl? You need to back up. Do your job, okay? We have enough going on. <laughs> we don't have time for that. Riley here. Sit in the back seat. I'm with Gail. Girl, put your seatbelt on. I'm not at the station. John Nelton called me and said he had something to tell me. No, no, no. But I feel better if you're there. We're on our way, but still, sit. Thanks. She wouldn't talk to you like that, Dewey. She would not be that short with you. No, not our Sydney. No, that was definitely voice change app. Hey guys, come on in. Yeah, well, actually, we're here to see Sydney. She's right there. What? Jesus, not Sydney. Sydney. Like I'm Gail and she's Gail. <laughs> Sydney Prescott? Yeah. No, I never invited her here. Y'all. This house is incredible. Milton has a secret screening room that was like the scene back in the Sunday. Wish I could have seen it. No, girl. You escaped a terrible fate. Whoa, 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 just one damn minute. Have you ever actually seen the stab movies? Every time this dude enters the room, he ends up a goddamn shish kebab. <laughs> we're gonna stick together. No, Jordan, take a seat. Wait up. Uh, we're gonna stay here and wait for Sid. I don't like this. Don't go down there with him, girl. Spooky. Um, turn back. <laughs> Trust yourself, turn around. You sure about that? All this paraphernalia. Roman? Why is he not speaking? This is so strange. Call her, Dewey. Call her. Sure is. Dewey, do you have caller ID on your cell phone? Yeah. Or use it and then press send. What the hell? The motherfucker's in the house. Is Milton in there, Dad? It's just the phone. What is this thing? It's a voice change app. Is this what it... What is that contraption? How can it do any voice? I don't understand how the killer got this Cyberdyne Systems technology. Hey, why did we split up? Okay, come on. What's wrong? Looks like Stab 3 is back in production. Dewey, I know you know better than to have your spine exposed to anyone. Don't have your back to people, babe. 
Rowan? Is that him now? Who's in there? I've not never seen that arm before. Oh! Obviously he's dead, babe. It's a center mass. You need to take that knife out for yourself. Did you do it? Girl, what the fuck? playing pin the tail on the donkey too instead of solving crimes and saving lives who is this who is this call me back i can only hear myself i only hear you too sydney who is this the question is cyberdyne systems year 2000 the question is who's with me oh it's hard being friends with you sydney when you're friends with sydney you die well these friends don't i don't even know most of the fools you killed this go round show yourself they survive you run they die don't you want to know who killed your mother i just want you dead so to be to honest you know we be together where i'll call you when you're on your way how the fuck are you gonna rue the day you called this number it's all right do your stretches and go kill this bitch you got it Up gun. Not a single one of these police officers is like, I'm your detail. I'm gonna stay with you. They already know she can save herself better than they ever could. <laughs> Just another scene of horror for the archive. See that metal detector? Use it. So that you can know about my weapon? All over Sydney, everywhere. <laughs> Show it to me. Fine. I won't shoot you, but I'll kill you some kind of way. Throw it in the pool. Now come inside, Sydney. No fucking way. 
How do I know they're not dead already? They're right inside. The Put them up to a window. <laughs> Where is he? He's right there. Girl, guess who you can always count on? Sydney motherfucking Prescott. He's getting back up. He got. Uh, 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 uh. Bam, 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 bam. I counted five bullets. Does that revolver hold six? What the hell, motherfucker? Tyson's dead. What are you doing here? What's going on? What are you doing here? Hello? Where's your partner? He has the eyes of a killer. Miss Prescott, I'm here to help. Put the gun down. I don't trust you, Dr. Shepard. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, oh. oh my god, he was on our side. Damn, he took a stabbing for you. Oh god. That was our last bullet for sure. <laughs> you want me, motherfucker? Come and get me. Baby's a track star. Is that another trap door? Okay. Bitch, what do you want from me? So pretty. One last time. Looking like a bloody so bank bag in a western robbery? Nah, thank you. Remember your mother. <laughs> Time you came to terms with me. Who is me? Maybe you never knew her at all, Sydney. Clearly. Can't get past the surface of things. <sighs> I searched for a mother too. Rena Reynolds tried to find her my whole life. So you're a bastard child? Ago, knocked at her door thinking she'd welcome me with open arms, but she had a new life. Honey, you were the only child she claimed, Sydney. I think you're a child of assault. Who is it? Scott Foley, you were faking it in that coffin. Roman Bridger, director. And brother. I made a little home movie, a little little family film. That was the key. Your boyfriend didn't like seeing his daddy in my film too much. He didn't like it at all. But once I supplied the motivation... Oh, the kid needed wow! Years. You were playing a very long game. This is all because of you. Introducing Sydney the victim. Sydney the survivor. I am the victim. The star! And I'm also the hero. You will be dying, bro. <laughs> yes, my loves. Oh, Dr. Shepard. Right hero and villain face to face. Well, you know what happens now? The villain dies. Exactly. Here he is. The man who gave away your mother's innocence. She never recovered from that night right here in this room. They fucked her three ways from Sunday. Oh! You ruined her life. I mean, yeah. Kill that fucker. I don't care. But stab yourself right after. I want you to understand. I'm going to make you pay. That's what the police are gonna find in Milton's answering machine, right next to his lifeless, mutilated corpse. Well, you can get some mutilating that corpse. I'm fine with that. Got him. <laughs> we don't care about him. He is a spineless bastard. Bitch, don't you have a collapsed lung or something from one of those bullets? The best is a magic. And who's our hero? You're gonna pay for the life you stole from me, Sid. For the mother, and for the family, and for the stardom, and. God damn it, Aria, you had the shit of in mind! Doug, why don't you stop your whining and get on with it? I've heard this shit before! Stop it, time again! Fucking damn it! Why don't you take some fucking responsibility? Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> get his ass, girl! You gonna end up like all the others! Yes. Yes. <laughs> Sydney. You can take no. Why is he such a good fighter? Why is the B613 jumping out? Stand back. Oh. Dr. Shepard, I need you to hit him right in the frontal lobe this time, okay? Hey, lose something? Found something. No, 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 no. She's not dead. Did 
she get away? Did she get away? Yes! Ha! Oh, okay. You ain't the only bitch that thinks ahead, motherfucker. Huh. You can keep throwing the furniture around. Fuck you. You're not gonna find me until I'm ready to kill your ass. That looks like the perfect needle to stick in a bitch's eye. Kill him, be done with it. You. You're not the only one, motherfucker. Mother's dead. There's nothing you can do about that. I still got to make my move. Step three, right? Yes. Over it. I'm just gonna sit here till you pass. Oh, Dr. Shepard is alive. Roman? It was Roman? It was Roman, girl. My illegitimate brother. You took his hand? The compassion on display. Oh, girl, you will see heaven. Brandy said the killer's always superhuman. Yeah, maybe put a bullet in this one's head too. He wasn't superhuman, do he? Seriously? In the, in, the, in the face, babe. In the face, babe, like a zombie. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Funny, funny, come on. This is our fifth killer killing. You know, it's a headshot at this point. Thanks. No problem. I really thought there were two. Oh. Y'all moved up to the cabin? Let's live our best commune life. Never rejoin society. What are you doing with it? Um, wait, sign it for me again? You hate that book. Besides, I'm done with that kind of reporting. Mm -hmm. Will you sign up for me? I've never once in my life been excited about an engagement. <laughs> I know it'll never work. You know it'll never work. But what I'm asking is just to see if we're wrong. Oh, <laughs> girl, he's the best thing that ever happened to you. Snap him up. You're a brave man, do we really? Facts. <laughs> I'm really scared right now. Precious pie. The bravest thing you ever did was love those bangs. He did take a knife for you, girl. I get it. Um, are we feeling really comfortable? Oh, I guess we are. Okay. Okay, so Kevin Williamson did not write this one, but he did produce it. Oh, Harvey Weinstein was one of the producers. It is not lost on me that a lot of that content was about the horrors of the casting couch. And this motherfucker's one of the producers. Oh God, have mercy. Oh, another scream, y'all. I would say I could definitely tell that Kevin Williamson's fingerprints were not as all over that one as over the other two, but I've had an amazing time with Scream 3 and I am hella excited for the fourth one now that I know that my trio has lived yet again and Nev and Courtney and David will be back this casting they literally snatch up every favorable bitch of the era and give them a line it's so good y'all know the deal <laughs> talk to me about scream 3 i cannot wait to hear what y'all have to tell me about this one hard to believe that there was a time in my life when i didn't have scream <laughs> at this point i'm just loving the 90s early aughts teen slasher train so much and i have so many more movies on this list i still know what you did last summer cursed urban legend so many slashers still to come and so many things that aren't spooky and aren't slashers but are still a good time okay so coming up we will have one more movie for november i will not be posting a movie next sunday because i will be out giving thanks there will be something here on wednesday though to get us in the thanksgiving mood a little 90s nostalgia classic for the thanksgiving season check back in and keep giving me suggestions and I will see you soon.